and welcome back. This is Kotal for the second and final event for this House Divided campaign. It is a Conquest, and it is a Smokestacks. Uh, current server pop was 268. Uh, a few people always still coming in. It was about 285 on the last uh, round. Um, although some people might be dumped, might, might have to leave. But right now it is 131 on the CSA, 136 on the Union. All right, and as I swing out, where are the teams? There they are. They are both going to move to their two respective points, B point and C point. Uh, those are the only two points that are live in the game. And they will raise the flag at 42. But on the Union team, it is the IVB under Major Sevy. Then we've got EB under the command of Mr. Hazard e and Mr. L Warlock. Let's see here. Then we've also got the MWV under Velkine. The 42nd under Hood and Mattis. Let's see. And Jacobson as well. All right. 79th under Mr. Ricks. The 83rd under Captain Wolf as soon as I could find him. This way. This way, boys. Everybody this way. Where is he? Where'd Wolf go? I don't know where Wolf is, but he's around here somewhere. All right, now let's take a look at the CSA team. I'll kind of go back to front. So we've got the NYV under Pilot. The WV right. under Lightburn. PB under Legion. The 20th under CJH. 2NC. Then we've got 8th Georgia under Colonel Knight. Check. The 19th Indiana under, I believe Captain Joker's leading them right now. Uh, HL yeah, yeah. under Sergeant Major Wilkes, 9th Corps under Prattley, and I believe that is everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. I think SR is in here as well. So I doubt either team will take Artie on this one. Um, so just to recap on this, this is a battle of the USA piece number 20 versus the 19th Indiana, so that's Mr. Joker's piece on the big campaign board along the Mississippi River. Uh, the last battle um, was a victory for the CSA, um, which means uh, right now on the big board, if the CSA wins this round, uh, they wipe out that token because of the placement. So um, the CSA is going to try very hard to win this round. Um, that piece will survive if uh, the Union either wins or they draw. So we'll see what happens. Now, this game is War Rights, uh, 30 U.S. dollars, right now on Steam. Uh, the event is House Divided Campaign. Link in the description to the event. Uh, for all these units, I've also put in the uh, their links to their discords. If you want to join up, please do. A lot of fun. You can be in the event as well. Just check out the schedules. Check out how they operate. And if it seems like it's uh, for you, join up. And then, uh, you know, always help me out uh, if, if you enjoy the videos, you know. Um, you know the grift. You know the, you know the YouTuber the grift. You've been on YouTube like and subscribing and all that other stuff that Al Gore and his rhythm likes. I don't know why we got to freaking dance to what Al Gore wants to listen to, man. I I don't get it. But, you know, I don't make the rules. So, looks like both teams are kind of digging in for the defense right now. We'll see if either one tries to... Uh, make a move. I imagine the Union is going to be more hesitant and more uh, to make any attack here than the other team. We'll see what the CSA wants to do. Now there are several options. This is a very wide map. So for example, you can come down here as the CSA virtually unobserved. You know, I think you know, like right here you know, is about where it gets out of bounds for you. And, you know, you can kind of come up this fill here and shoot up this fence and get along this snake fence. And look at where you're at. Conversely, come up through these woods. Very decent cover on the way up. Furthermore, you can come out to the left. Again, look at all this cover. You got all this concealment. Jump into the corn. I'm a little bit far out right now. You jump into the corn. 
And I'm then inside Chevy. I'm inside Chevy. Chevy. Jump out right on this corner and hit this corner. A lot of options to attack. Now those same routes exist exist for the uh, the CSA. I'm sorry for the Union. You know you can come out here. Now this is dangerous because it's by the uh, CSA spawn. But there's decent cover over here, and you can kind of skirt the edge of the map even if you want to. And I would recommend it. And then try to shoot out all the way over here to the road here. Get behind the CSA. You've got all this terrain out here, which is all open, to maneuver around into. And same thing, you can use the woods for infill, and you can take that same route I just talked about earlier to the Union line. And it looks like the CSA is starting to send out a few scouts... Like this brave man, Mr. Praetorian. Scouting out the Union line, dodging bullets. Look at him sidestepping, moonwalking. They can't touch him. Praetorian just too smooth. But he's sending back intel, trying to figure out where the Union is right now. I would say they're, they're very strong on this corn here. I'd say the avenue of attack for the CSA right now is right down there. Again, how far back can you get? Well, let's do a little experimenting. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, Owen Wilson there. Look how far back you can get. All right, right there. So it's right about, yeah. Get all the way back here. I could sit up on these rocks if I want to. I could swing all the way over here. Sit up on this tree. Sit up on that tree. Sit up on them rocks. A lot of options. A lot of options. But yeah, right now the Union is very much expecting an attack through this corn, it seems like, and they are waiting their defense there. So we'll see if the CSA can find an angle or not, but I do think... Um, I mean, they could try to approach through the corn... Um, they might be able to get through some concealment, but I doubt it. Um, they could try to come through this open field, but I don't think that's open either. I think it's that direction. Mike, I wouldn't let you give me mouth to mouth, even if there was a fire. That's crazy, Tiger. Why are you being so fucking rude to me right now? Because you didn't join the first game. And we needed you. I was watching hockey. It was more important. Hockey you is know, more important. You watch hockey and play uh, I don't know, man. Hockey Fire. is more important. So we do have a forward movement here. Interesting here. Who is this? The 42nd is moving out here. I think they believe that the majority of the CSA is over there. Um, and they're not wrong. So this, I think, is a good maneuver here by Hood to try to get the uh, CSA into a bit of a box. We'll see if it works for him. What are you doing? Sorry, Corp. Well, this isn't freaky at all. <laughs> I just noticed this. I am leaving this in. Oh, this is not, this, I'm not resetting it. I don't care. I don't care, YouTube algorithm, I don't give a shit. I've got the ghost Fine. army. <laughs> is it CSA ghost too? Oh, it's the ghost army. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, this is staying in. Oh, here comes Wilkes trying to get by. Oh, see, his problem, the uh, part of the 42nd got distracted here, and they got pulled off. They didn't stay with the main line. And now those guys got swallowed up by Wilkes. And kind of um, ate up a bit of the 42nd line here. Although a great attack by the 42nd drive in the 8th Georgia into the jaws of this Union line here. A great little attack here by the 42nd. You know, a slight mistake there with some of those guys, but generally a very good attack. Now, the problem, though, is you've opened up this corner here, this seam. You've got a couple guys from 79th, kind of, not really, just whoever. Although, who's this? It is the ghost of Mr. Mattis. 
overlooking the point. I, it, it, it's just an issue with my game. I could reset it, but I, I just find this way too amusing, so I'm not going to. I do apologize. You guys are like, man, what the fuck? I can't see our... You know, because you can customize your character and stuff. But I, I just find this way too amusing to see these, you know, blows just fight this war. Press T. If you have Vico's flag, come oh, another attack here by the 42nd. They are being much more aggressive on this map. And I, I think it's actually right, working pretty well for them so far. Kind of disrupting the uh, CSA and their attack a bit. You got Rick's here. Who's he's fighting? He's fighting Pilot. See, this is the danger. Oh, nope, they've adjusted to it. Who came over to help? We got the ghost of Hood now. It was too much for him. He couldn't take the five second timer anymore. It just it, it, it drove him to to expire, to shuffle off this mortal coil. Hey, Captain, just so you know, well, there's a huge line uh, in the corn behind it to the right. All right, I'm gonna stop. I'll, I'm gonna reload the game. All right, and we're back among the land of the living. So let's go and see where we're at now. So far, the Union is holding on strong, and they are. It looks like they're out shooting the CSA. Not much has changed. You still got the major force on the on the uh, on the left here, and then you've got 42nd doing some skirmishing out on the right. And they've got the CSA pretty well boxed in. Unless I missed it, I haven't seen an attack along this attack vector yet, but it looks like we do have an attack developing. Who's going in? Bradley's going to try his luck against the EB. Reds in the fence. Flag down. Get the flag. Flags down. Flags down. Here they are. They're ready for They're here. 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 they that flank. Flags, get behind your tree. Stay on the corner and engage. Let him have it, boys. Engage, engage, engage. Engage. Get on the fence, 83rd. Fight him. Get on the fence. Good. And 9th Corps has been beaten back by that little attack. And you've got... The 42nd here as well. Although now we might have some maneuvers. Uh, Modal Heart. Oh, he's leading the 19th Indiana. Very nice. Good shit, model. Modal Heart. Let's see. He is. I, I would say he's going in a little bit too um, shallow. It's too observable. I think it would be better served taking the extra time to get around. I don't think really the speed of getting on this side here is worth it. You're going to be observed by the 42nd the whole way you're doing it. They're just going to move up to meet you. And here they come. Look north, look north. 19, shoot down the line, shoot down the line, shoot down the line, boys. To the north, to the north. You can see their flag, you can see their flag. Shoot at that smoke, boys. You see him? Cut the grass, cut the grass. Left face spread. And the 19th Indiana is going to get out of there. And getting a decent amount of kills as they're doing it. About even right now on tickets. CSA is still leaving a bit of a guard force, but to be honest with you, I think an infiltration could get through if they want to send it, but now we got another attack on this side. Who is this? Wilkes is trying his luck against the MWB as they're reloading. Well timed by Wilkes. Unloading into the face of the MWB. I hate to see it. Great attack by Mr. Wilkes. Now the IVB is a little bit separated. Can they, uh, let's see if Wilkes can punch through here. It's starting with that little attack. They're starting to catch up on tickets. EB is counterattacking in. Ninth Corps flooding in to help, though. Above her, push that. 
IVB has not moved to close this gap yet, though. Now they're starting to move. All right, now they're starting to help close the gap. You do not want to let them have a bridgehead here. Not with that flag. You need to knock that flag down. Mr. Snapkins is enemy number one. Especially when he's got a cannon, but also when he has a flag. And now if they can knock that flag down, that'd be even that'd be even better. There we go. There we go. Well done. All right, they got the flag knocked down. Let's see where the next attack vector comes from. Again, I think the CSA is playing way too shallow from being in here. Again, you can use, without it being observable, all this room out here, all the way around, you know, kind of underneath here. It's not easy to see. You got to really be looking for it. I'm, you know, okay, I'm a little bit out of, but okay, right here, boom, there you go. So, you know, I'm not lying. Cut in right here, boom, across. This is all open. All this is open to you. And then snick you out over here, or like I said, you could even come around even further. Plenty of options for you. Uh, as far as the Union goes, the CSA is not really given an opportunity, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to, you know, if a unit has to respawn, to send it on a flank mission itself. But here we got another attack going in. Bratley here trying to take the corner. They're in the corner. Right face, right face. They're in the corner. So far, these CSA attacks have been a little bit, you know, disjointed, but... Looking at the ticket balance, they're actually still ahead. So it looks like they're doing it. Well, it's about even. It's about even. But yeah, like, I don't know why you're sending one in and then sending another in. Like, who is this? Here comes Knight. We'll see if he can make it in, but it's, you know, you're kind of just feeding tickets in right now. Quick, quick, quick. Get off the fence, get off the fence. Let's go, boys. Yep, I see it. Front, right face. Follow the star, follow the star, boys. And again, if you can knock out some of these flags here, you're going to get a good advantage against the CSA and actually push them a bit. And EB is, in fact, going to try to do a little raid here. They just can't get too overextended. And Hazard does pull him back. I think that's the right call at this point. If you're going to do a full push, it's going to be full. But a little raid like that is fine. But it looks like now the CSA has been trying to shape. Now here comes Joker with a 19, supported by Wilkes. Trying to flood the far right side of the Union line, defended by the MWB. I think they might be able to punch through it here. We'll see if the MWB, Velcon, can stop them. They got support coming in in the form of the IVB. Oh, that volley, unfortunately, did not do as much damage as I think they needed it to do. Here comes Wilkes. Let's see if he can punch through. Yeah, you want to shoot when you're as close as you can. Come here, you fucking rebel scum. God, I hate you so much. I can't hit you. This sucks. By the way, there's no bayonets in this right now, by the way. That is an event card that happened, so nobody has bayonets. So charges are super hard. That is part of the reason why the CSA is having so much trouble right now. So there is no bayonets. It is only bats. It is only clubbing. Up and over. In the field. Skirmish. And another raid here by the 42nd, it looks like. You know, they're getting to the point where I think they could um, possibly swallow up this CSA element here if they want to. And then possibly make a, uh, you know, send a detachment out if they want to try to take A. It's pretty open right now. We'll see if that's what they want to do. Nice finally coming in from the 42nd. Head level. Hitting Knight. Knight returning the favor, though, with a nice volley of his own. Spread out, and Knight order. gives the open order. I agree with that. I think is that light burn with him? Spread out. One body length yep, apart. it is the 4th West Virginia with him. I believe 2NC is as well. Another attempt, this time by 9th Corps on that corner. But they could not punch through. Like I said, right now, I, 
you, you don't know because you can't see like I could see. But, God, there is an open road to A if the Union wanted to take it. And I still say there's an open road behind the Union line for the uh, CSA if they want to take it. God, just, if you imagine getting the NYV on these rocks here. Shit, man, you could just punch right through, is boom, it come or and get the flag down if you wanted. In fact, the center's a little bit weak right now. They're drawing off a lot of firepower over here. Who is in the center? I don't know if they want to send Lightburn to try to sneak in. He might be able to get to the point and get the flag down. I think it's possible. We were a fairly large gap in the line. He crouched with us so that they could use an infantry. Yeah, right now, um, I would send a, a Ricks out there, or, you know, like I said, I, you know, I'm repeating myself, but the fairly, you know, we're not really doing anything different each time. We're kind of just banging our heads against the wall right now in the form of the CSA. And the Union is, uh, I don't think they want to take any kind of risks right now. I think they can afford to, to be honest with you, but that's, uh, you know, again, if they lose, they, they don't, uh, they'll lose a token, so they are very hesitant to do so. This attack, I think, is a much better attack here by the CSA. Much more concentrated. And in fact, you can see they're starting to make some progress. It's tough with these bats. Here comes Joker. Again, just send one of these tiny units to try to get out here and take the risk. CSA is ahead on tickets. Actually, they might collapse this line. They might do it. Union is not getting the flags up. The Union has two flags in the dirt. This could be it. This could be the CSA might have done it. The Union has a flag in the dirt. This is potentially devastating for the Union. Let's see, who's here to stop him? Why are they not on the other side of the fence? Why are you on that side of the fence right now? Oh, you silly, silly gentlemen. Now both are aren't engaged. 42nd got here just in time to staunch this hole. Both are now at engaged. Now this is relatively open. You still got a few guys over here. You can't let your flag get, you know, knocked out like that. Now this element over here, who is this? It is Sevy. Well, no, I'd take Sevy back to the main line. Right. But even with that, 42nd is having trouble holding it. They don't have enough flags anymore. And here comes Joker. So you saw that, that, that uh, concentrated force was able to punch through. You're not supposed to have bayonets on, guys, by the way. And this could be it. Now at this point, to be honest with you, if the Union's at main, go straight to the other point. Just flip it. You're not going to retake this. But the Union flag management there was very poor, to be honest with you. Um, you got way too many flags, got way too close to the front line, and got killed. If you're starting to get close, any kind of attack, just back up and go to the next high friendly line. Like there was a flag that was sitting here on this side of the fence here. Why? Bad idea. This guy, as soon as that hit, should have been running back up here. All the Union flags are in the dirt. EB is charging in, but they're going to get slaughtered here by this 9th Corps line. 
You cannot attack a line with a flag if you don't have a flag, unless you have overwhelming numbers. And I'm talking like three, times three at least. And you do not have it here. And with the club, I don't even think you could do it. All right. They've taken it. They've taken both points now. And keep in mind, the CSA still has a decent amount of forces guarding this point here. So you should be able to beat them. And the Union has six more men. Now you can see how fast that morale state's going to go down. We got them moving up on our right. They're on our right. They're on our right. Come on, give me that flag. Aim shot. I don't know where my CO or my NCOs are. So. So that concentrated U the CSA push, that time it did it, and they were able to roll up that line, and importantly, they knocked out the flags. And the Union did not do a good enough job of keeping those flags. It is going to be impossible now to knock the CSA off of this position. It will not be possible until those flags respawn. There is no point in continuing this battle here. You know, you could try to distract them here with maybe one force and the rest go take the other position here. But look how fast the morale is going down with two points going. Now, as far as a Union attack goes, you know, I go back to that old thing of, okay, how big is this map? Put a guy unit there. Put a unit over here. Don't go straight into them. Don't fight them from this angle. Certainly not. They've got that. They've, you saw how hard it was. All right, let's see. EB's going to try to get in on this flank here. We'll see if it works. If they can get their flags up, I'd say it's worth it, but I don't think they're going to make it through. They're shooting. You can't outshoot a unit with a flag when you don't have one. There we go, taking losses. It's going to be very hard for the Flag Union to recover from this. From... There's a flag. Uh, Here comes Wilkes. He's going to try to join up the attack. I would too. Don't let him get up uh, on the flank over here. Who is this? They are charging, it looks like. 83rd. Who is this over here? You saw that? Yeah, yeah. we're getting shot at. We're basically. Just a couple guys, but again, you can rotate a good unit over there. Here they come. Pull back. Yeah, they're, uh, pull back, pull back. Pull, pull back. Pull back. Into the death lane. Pull back. Thank pull God somebody called. There's a whole group of them. Let's see. In the meantime, who is this? What are they doing? Come up and bit me right my butt. Now. IVB. I would go and attack B right now if I was Sevy. Let's see who's coming up here. EB heading back up here. Like, I died trying to get... You're not going to punch through this line here. You got your flag back, which is good. Um, it's going to, you know, to win at this point, you're going to have to kind of pull a hat trick. You're going to have to take that point, and you're going to have to retake this point, if not simultaneously, pretty, pretty close to it. Um, but right now, the longer you take, the harder it's going to be. Oh. Yep, and Sevi is heading for that point. I think this is the right call. If he could take this and maybe leave a little bit uh, to defend it and help uh, swing up the rest, I think he'll be in an excellent position to try to even out this fight and possibly get him back into a position where they might be able to get him into a draw. But uh, the time is ticking here. Here comes Jeff Knight to try to get the flag up. 
And who was this? Multiple units, PB, 4th West Virginia. Gonna try to knock out the IVB. We'll see who can win. Here comes Velkine, coming to join him. I think that's the right decision. I think 17th would be an excellent unit to guard this position and try to hold it. What happened? Why didn't you take the flag down? Take that flag down. Yes, what he said. Why, why would you stop? Yeah, oh, by the way, you don't need the flag, flag bearer. You can, you can just have somebody else fine, take the flag fine, down. That was, I don't know what that was. You don't need the flag bearer to take the flag down. So anybody could do it, as you can see here. And then all he has to do is put the flag up. He can get off and somebody else can, you know, continue raising it. Michael, 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 we gotta get, we gotta take the flag. Perfect, perfect. Now they've got it down. Now the flag needs to come and get it up. Wait, wait. Get up there. Get the flag over here. Get the flag over here. Other side, North. Other side. They are having all kinds of trouble. Go around. Go around. Go around. Other side, North. Oh, no, Please. North. Come on, man. <laughs> they are having all kinds of trouble here. There they go. See, now if the Union can focus and retake C, you know, they might be able to get them down. But it's that's a tough thing. But again, I think they're coming out of it too shallow. You know, okay, well, oh, this is open ground. What are you talking about, Koto? Yeah, it's open ground, but it's also undulating. And oh, by the way, yeah, you can get back around. You now have one unit fight down the fence, one unit out here, one unit over here, one unit over there. Get them in a box. Instead of all massing up in a single direction. Like right here, yeah, 42nd I would say is fine. Maybe one other unit over here. But then, yeah, start rotating them out. Take aim, take aim, take aim. Take aim. Back down. Back down. Uh, Back down. Back down. Up and over. Alright, we're gonna be moving around now. Hold it back here. Hold here, hold here. Pull back a little bit. Pull back a little bit. Looks like we got some more fighting over here. Let me go swing back over. I think it's just IVB and MWB cleaning up elements here and there. Well, you do have Lightburn here waiting for that opportunity where he could pounce on that point again. I'll be honest, the pump volley isn't really going to do anything for you. That is not going to have the effects you need it to. Smoke, steady, fire. There you go, boys. Pull back to the Now, by the time you get back, they've already got their men back. Now, 83rd is starting to rotate out. You know, again, okay, you know, rotate out EB over here, 42nd over there. Spread the field out a little bit. Or send a unit down the snake fence with mutual supporting fire on both sides. There's some options. But attacking it, I think the uh, this Union attack down this way is much better than trying to attack it this way. This way sucks. IVB doing a good job of getting some good tickets out there, though, along with uh, Vilkine and his guys. CSA defense here is holding pretty damn strong. Yeah. 
I forgot I had it on, dude. Yeah, it's like muscle memory to put it on. Yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Hey, at least we were in the daylight. Oh, but when I put my bandit on the fried deck. Up and over, over. Hey. Up and over. Triple, Don Wells. Sprint, boy, sprint, 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 boy, let's go. So this I approve of. So they've left uh, Velkan and his guys over there, I believe. Oh, no, Velkan's up here. Who do they leave? You need to leave somebody. You can't just leave this point undefended here. Who is this? Ricks. Okay, I approve. Ricks to do that. Now, Velkine and Sevi can get in behind. Although, I would say you need to attack. Little volleys is not going to get you where you need to go. You need to roll up this line here. If you give away your position with a long-distance volley that doesn't have any effects, you have wasted your opportunity. Run! HL, I think, got a little bit overextended here. Again, here's another opportunity to punch through. Again, I would say this is way too shallow. I, I, Proudly is going to try to make him pay for that. And this should get him down to breaking. Uh, he's going to pull off. I mean, I'd say maybe the Union could try to turtle, but they're so close to breaking now, they're going to hit it. There's no way they're not. And I believe that's Lightburn out there fighting against uh, Ricks and his guys. And they got an officer, so. Yeah, we got this charge down here, the Union on breaking. I love dicks. I love penis. You can take this out, but if you take too long, you won't. If you sit here reloading, I mean, maybe they're just looking for casualties at this point, and they've given up on uh, retaking the point, but if that's the case, why is this unit charging in? You need any of effort. Everybody working towards the same thing. If not, you're working against each other. Keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. And the CSA has held. Boys. Let's get these guys in some sort of cover. And it looks like Lightburn did win that fight against Ricks. Make sure it was Lightburn here. Oh, it was CJH. It wasn't Lightburn. It was CJH that won that fight. And I guess Iguana has... I need your shoe. Oh, CJ, turn around. You guys failed your officer. Good job. Don't care. Uh, Good ask. Let's go, 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 let's go,
Boys, keep your heads up. Look to your southwest. Get that flag up. Get that flag up. Someone get the flag. 19th on the slide, gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go. Build those gaps. You know the drill, boys. To the east at the sprint. Oh, to the east, Georgia. To the east at the sprint. To the east at the sprint. Let's go. Eighth Georgia ship left. Eighth Georgia ship left. And with the bucket ball. Boogaloo him. Boogaloo him. Boogaloo him. Into line, into line, fire wheel, fire wheel, right front, direct front. Up to the fence, once you're fired, up to the fence, up here, boys. Into them, into them. Into them, boys, into them. Into them. Flag, 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 flag! Yeah, run towards our yeah, run towards our area. Yes, sir. Hey, watch, ah, watch, watch, we watch. Uh, just charge point. Let's go. We listen to our oh. commanders. And that will be a wipe for the uh, USAB piece. This will uh, definitely hurt the Union defending the Mississippi and pushing down. Um, so we'll see uh, how the Union decides to react on the big campaign board. Uh, no bayonets in the five-second uh, respawn is definitely a uh, nasty combination. Um, yep. Anyway, uh, appreciate uh, y'all hanging out, and I will see y'all next time.